Okay. Yes. So I was born in Zorungu. Um, when I was, uh, uh, you know, when I, I grew up um, not going to school. So okay. we used to just play around the market. Mm. And then uh, when I was of age, you know, we um, were made to take the cattle and the sheep and the goats you know, to graze. Mm. So I became a shepherd boy. Okay. And I was so happy doing it with my cousins. Um, wow. School was, was not, uh, not, part, I mean, of not part of my, my <laughs> agenda at all until I was about 10, between 10 and 11. Okay. So I was, um, you know, just a happy little boy running around with goats and sheep and cattle. And one day I went to the um, catechist you know, the Catholic Church is very close to my house. Mm -hmm. So this gentleman, Paul um, Akulugo, he was, uh, you know, the catechist taking care of the outstation uh, church. So he asked me that, how come that uh, the rest of my friends, you know, go to school and I'm not in school? Mm -hmm. Because at the time I had started, I had started, uh, you know, I started, um, friendship with uh, a number of um, people in the community, a number of, uh, like you know, at, at my age mates in the community, mm. and they were all going to school. So he asked me this question, and then Aisha, I just told him, I said, I didn't have school uniform. <laughs> that was actually just a spontaneous answer, but it was a lie. <laughs> I, I had never thought about going to school. Okay. So, you know, um, about three days later, if I remember very well, he came to our house with school uniform and told my mom that uh, when he asked me about school, why I was not going to school, I said I didn't have school uniform. So he's brought me a school uniform. Now how he got my size, you know, and so on, I didn't know, but he just brought me a school uniform. So, <laughs> and it, it so, fitted. Yeah, it fitted. So I took it and then I had no option. And then I went to school. It's a long story, but I went to the nearest school, which is Adakura Primary School. And who when, paid for it? No, the, that time in school it was, was free. free. It was okay. free. You just needed to walk in and write your name. My goodness. It was free. So when I went there, the teachers saw my age. They couldn't put me in P1. So they took me to P2. And <laughs> the, the, the pupils just started. They burst out laughing. You know, they, they were calling me uh, grandpa, uh, grandpa. <laughs> class two father. You know, uh, <laughs> so... I became, I became so, you know, crestfallen. I didn't know what, what to do with myself. <laughs> because I had become, you know, because Paul did, Paul Akolgo did this, I mean, uh, act of generosity. Yes. I didn't want to disappoint him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I became interested in school. And here I was, they were teasing me that I'm school grandpa, you know. <laughs> so I came and I told my mom about it. And then my father was transferred to Laura. Mm -hmm. And um, so my mother told him that, look, it's better to take him to Laura, where people do not know him. Mm. And because he's now become interested in going to school. school. So my father took me there. That's where I met the, uh, Dr. Ben Kumbo for the first time. Okay. Because my father worked with the Education Development Authority. Okay. And Ben Kumbo's father was, I think, the district manager of that, that uh, place. So we, used, we stayed in the same, um, you know, um, quarters, you know, the same... Uh, area built by the IDA. Okay. And uh, so I went to Laura Muslim Primary School, uh, went P3, the, then P4, and came back to Zorungu to continue from P5. And when I was in uh, middle school, uh, Form 1, I took the entrance exam to Notre Dame and qualified. Okay. You know, after just a short period of, uh, you know, attending primary and uh, middle school, I managed to qualify to go to Notre Dame. So you were actually so. intelligent and you were wasting your talent. I think so. One of my, um, you know, adult friends, Francis, uh, um, you know, he's a reverend uh, brother now. He actually said, after, I mean, I told him my story. He said, if I hadn't gone to school, my intelligence would have been wasted. Thank you.